guy. I don't need your trash in here. You know, you're a disgrace to carry the Luciano name. Disgrace. Disgraziado. You know what I mean? You fucking... She ain't Italian, and neither are you. And you're, you're a fucking putana. That's all you are. You know, and, and that's it. You know what I mean? Like, go, go fucking open your legs in Mexico every time you get a chance. You know? But no, she's half Mexican, bro. Her last name's Italian, but she, you know, she's half Mexican. And Bill Jordan, I don't need your... Half Italian. It's a lot more Italian than you are. By far. I don't need your two cents. She's no OG here. She's no OG here, man. She's she's abused her privileges with me twice. Is the you hear that, guys? Doesn't matter how much money you give him, how long you've been there. He'll fuck you over so fucking quick. Third time. This is the third time I'm blocking her and the last time I'm blocking her. You know, you know, hey, you know what I mean? Emails don't lie. Sandra Luciano disputed this transaction. Sandra Luciano disputed that transaction, this transaction, this transaction. And they took the money from my account today. So the $40 I had left over is gone. Like I said, for a year, she was all over me, come stay with me, come be with me. And she was friends with JC the whole time. Feeding him information. Yeah. Boy, I'll tell you, I don't know if he's more heartbroken that Sandra broke up with him or Sandra wanted her money back. Comment below what you think. I mean, you know, you're going to fucking take back a $5 cash app, a $10 cash app, a $15 cash app. You should have never sent it. Guys, remember the video I did earlier today when he was telling his lie about how he got scammed out of $100? He got scammed out of $100 acting like it wasn't nothing. He don't give a fuck. He can piss $100 away. But now, Sandra took back her $40 that she gave him and he is fucking furious. Look how upset he is. Look how fucking distraught he is. Now, you think if he really got beat for $100, he'd be acting like it was nothing? Look how he's acting over $40. A brother, yeah. Yeah. She had me drive, uh... I was, like, two hours away from Chicago. Hold on a second. I gotta, I gotta pick a winner. Another dry one. I was... I was like two hours away from Chicago. Hold on a second. I, I got I to gotta pick a winner. That was a dry one. She had me drive. Uh, I was like two hours away from Chicago. Damn, Tony. Can you get any deeper in there? You don't have a fucking brain aneurysm. I got I got to pick a winner. That was a dry one. I was driving from New York to Chicago to see her. I'm supposed to go stay with her, right? I wasted. Hey, Leon, eat that booger. I don't know. Eighty dollars in gas. I'm two hours outside Chicago, and she goes, "Oh, by the way, when you get here, you're gonna park your car at my house, and we're gonna go to a hotel." Cause my brother's living with me. Your brother? Yeah, my brother lives with me. When were you going to tell me that? Now? I was like, fuck this. I, I ain't coming over to fucking Chicago to leave my car anywhere for you to bring me to some hotel. 
But I don't know who's going to be in that fucking hotel room waiting for me. I mean, like, what, what are you fucking... Do I look like I'm stupid? Yes. You look very fucking stupid. I'll leave my car somewhere where somebody could cut the roof? It was a convertible fucking Sebring. I didn't leave my Sebring anywhere. You kidding me, guys? A fucking convertible Sebring. You know how much fucking money they're worth? Fucking Bentleys ain't got shit on a convertible Sebring. I ain't leaving that anywhere. Where's that fucking Sebring now? Red Rider Wagon? You know what I mean? Like, what, are you fucking kidding me? So I turned around and went back to New York. You turned around and went back to New York. I'm willing to bet you didn't even fucking leave New York. <laughs> Lying piece of shit.